Welcome to the Lynn Camp TV show where we focus on organizations working to make their impact right here in your community, the city of Lynn. Here with me today from the Lynn Cultural Council, we have Sarah Jackson, who is a chair member. Sarah, thanks for being here today. Thank you for having me. So we're here to talk about the Lynn Cultural Council in full, the services that you guys offer. For those of you at home who aren't aware, the Lynn Cultural Council is working to bring resources to the city of Lynn through grants and resources such as that. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you're interested in making an impact and you've got the excuse like everybody, I just don't have the money to do it, <laughs> uh, this might be a great show for you today. So Sarah, uh, you're a chair member over there. Let's talk about your responsibilities. What, what's your purpose with the organization? Yeah, so I'm in in my third year of chairmanship of the Lynn Cultural Council and the Lynn Cultural Council is appointed by the mayor so it's myself and at the current time nine other members and my role and our collective role is to give away money which is a great position to be in. Um, we are part of the Massachusetts Cultural Council so we're a local agency and basically every year they allot us a certain amount of money to give away for arts, culture, and interpretive science opportunities in Lynn. So we, uh, it's our role that we take very seriously to uh, accept grant applications for that money and then review and score the grant applications and then give out the money. That's a cool job, I mean, because it, nobody can't not like you guys. So I'm, <laughs> I'm a people pleaser and it, it's really important to me that everybody likes me and, you know, there, as I'm growing up, I'm realizing that, you know, you can't do that, you can't please everybody. Right, and right. there are times where you have to make the decision and elect to not please anybody. Right. Uh, but, I mean, here you are, it's like your job's to give away money. Yes. In a community that needs it. Yes. So it's, everybody likes you guys. Um, and, you know, another thing that I, I really want to speak to is the, the volume of grants that you probably read. And, the amount of uh, availability that people are giving to the mm -hmm. city of Lynn, and it must be encouraging. You're like, or, there are people out there working to make an impact here. It's super encouraging. It's just such an honor to be on this side of things, to see uh, all of the good work that's happening from uh, choruses of senior citizens who sing, you know, in the fall and spring and do concerts, to children's programming, to historical activities. There is so much going on in Lynn, and I'd like to think people like us, but unfortunately we get more applications than we could possibly right. fully fund. So, for example, last year we had $40,000 to give away, and we got $80,000 worth of requests. So wow. we are in a tough position having to make tough decisions about the best way to allocate the money and our goal really is to you know help as many organizations as possible so we try to spread it around as much as we right. can but that's the idea I mean you're gonna want more grant applications than you do money for grants because yes. when you go for your next year and you're like hey this is what the city of Lynn needs I mean now you can say hey look we, we got a request for double what you allocated us last year like we're we need we got people who want to work mm -hmm. uh, so let's make it happen mm -hmm. um, now the organization is the Lynn Cultural Council you can find more information at uh, www dot mass dash cultural dot org backslash Lynn. Uh, you can also reach out to them on the phone, 781-691-0060. They're on Facebook, Facebook slash Lynn Cultural Council. Um, and their mailing address for grants, if you're interested in mailing your grants in, is 590 Washington Street, right here in Lynn. It's the Lynn Museum. Uh, so let's talk about the organization, the overall goal of it. What's your mission? Yeah, sure. So the mission of the Lynn Cultural Council, it mirrors the mission of the Massachusetts Cultural Council, which is to provide uh, grants to nonprofits, individual artists, individual musicians, historians, etc. Um, and for us, it's of course particularly focused in Lynn. So we really want to advance the cultural agenda across Lynn and make sure that there's significant public benefit, meaning the projects that we fund should really benefit our community 
in some way, uh, be that through free events, be that through really high quality art exhibits, uh, bringing diverse people together, that's another huge goal. So really, uh, you know, that, that's in essence what we do, is we really want to help all of the amazing, enriching opportunities in Lynn to thrive. So can you explain to us right now, just, just for our viewership, why is it so important to preserve culture in a city like Lynn? Mm -hmm. That's a great question. It's important for so many reasons. Culture is, in many ways, the driver of what defines a community. It's a driver of economy. So at a time of what I would call revitalization in Lynn, particularly in the downtown and other neighborhoods, it's really important that as residents, as government leaders, as business owners, we put a significant focus on culture because that is a large part of what attracts people to live in a city. It's what keeps people in a city. And again, it really defines the, uh, the demographic and the socioeconomic um, makeup of who we are. For example, as I mentioned, we try to do really diverse grants. Um, so everything from honoring the Cambodian community here to Latino and Latina activities, we really think broadly about the communities of people who live here, from race and ethnic diversity through age and so forth. Yeah, there's a lot here in Lynn. I mean, you got 92,000 people, and of those 92,000, there are definitely groups and, and cliques of people, I guess. Like, mm -hmm. it's like a big high school. Um, <laughs> so you do. I mean, that must make it difficult on you guys. It's like you have this group of people who want to be defined as Cambodians, or mm -hmm. they're defined as, um, you know, Dominicans or Puerto Ricans, or maybe they're defined as seniors, or maybe they're defined as the youth. So, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, it comes down to the objective of the organization and figuring out who's going to be able to help you achieve that. Right. Uh, and if I can say something about sure. that too, I think a big part of our mission is to make sure that all of those communities are represented in the funding that we do. So I would say for a long time, many of the same organizations knew of us and therefore applied. But over the past couple of years, we've been working really, really hard to make sure that all populations in Lynn know that our grants are available so that we can celebrate and support the different work that they do and not only provide support but ensure that the whole community is aware when the Khmer New Year is coming, so that the whole community is aware of these really enriching, diverse events. Is there any history to the, to the Cultural Council here in Lynn? History, so we have been around, I don't know exactly how long, but I would, I believe since the 80s, okay. when the Mass Cultural Council started creating these local cultural councils. Most cities and towns across the state have their own local cultural council, so it's unique in that the state is basically giving money to our city and saying, you're empo we're empowering you through your local cultural council to figure out what to fund. Right. I think they recognize that, you know, at, at, at a state level, it's one thing to preserve culture. Um, but at a local level, I mean, that's what really matters. Like you said, you, it's about driving business. Mm -hmm. You think about, like, the tourist spots. So, like, my mm -hmm. grandparents are in Ireland right now. And those guys, like, they depend on the March season to sell their trinkets and their hats and their, their clothes. And it's about that Irish culture. And the same thing goes for communities like Lynn. It's mm -hmm. about, you know, letting people know, hey, we were the number one manufacturer in, in shoes worldwide at one point. <laughs> right. Um, you know, we're the biggest inner city in, in America. I mean, these are some these are some pretty high caliber stats that not a lot of people are aware of. Like mm -hmm. Lynn has tons to offer. And we talk about that all the time on this show. Um, now we talked a little bit before the, the program and you just touched on it briefly. Um, it, the Mass Cultural Council um, kind of is the big umbrella spot for all of these other separate communities? Um, you know, how do they help you achieve your job? I mean, I mean, where does where where where, where do the grants come from on their end? Yeah, so they they and other agencies work very hard all year long to advocate to the state government that uh, funding for arts and culture in Massachusetts is really important. So they were actually very successful this year in getting an increase in the total amount of funding that the Mass Cultural Council gets, which therefore increases what we can give away. Right. So for example, um, last year we received $40,000 to give away, and this year it's more like 48,000. Great. So that's actually you know, a big difference for us on the local level.
Yeah, that's almost a, a 25% increase. Yeah, I mean, it's huge. That's a big deal. Um, I mean, that definitely speaks volumes to the numbers, guys. Guys like me, I'm just like, hey, it's more than they had. That's good to hear. <laughs> it's always good. Um, so let's talk a little bit about um, the... Um, the 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 house process. So mm -hmm. you've got people who are interested in applying for a grant. Um, what do they do? How do they reach out? Where can they find information? Yes. So as you mentioned, our website is mass-culture.org backslash Lynn. And they can also go to our Facebook page, Lynn Cultural Council. Um, and I'm happy to talk a little bit about the process of applying. Uh, so every year our annual grant deadline is October 15th. And that's a firm deadline. Sometimes we get late applications, but unfortunately we can't look at those. Right. Um, and so people can either mail them in to the address you mentioned earlier. Basically, Lynn Museum is lovely in letting us use their mailing address. Or people can email them to lynnculturalcouncil at gmail.com. Okay. And so from, those, um, from our website, you can link directly to the application form. We also, on the local level, have done a lot of work educating people around what's required in a grant and what common pitfalls may be and what we look for. So on our LCC official website, we also have how-to documents and slide decks that we've put together to provide even more instruction and help to our local applicants to help them know how to apply. Very informative stuff. Yeah. Um, we're going to come back real quick and we're going to talk a little bit about the types of grants, the application process. Um, we want to uh, ask you guys to stay tuned. We've got Sarah Jackson here, chair member of the Link Cultural Council. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Lynn Cam TV show. If you're just joining us, here with me today, we have Sarah Jackson, chair member of the Lynn Cultural Council. The Lynn Cultural Council is an organization dedicated to giving back to the Lynn community. And the way that they do that is through issuing grants. So if you have an idea and how you want to make your impact in the community, uh, stay tuned and listen to how you can actually work alongside with great people like Sarah Jackson. Uh, so Sarah, before the break, we were talking about the organization. It's the Mass Cultural Council, mass dash cultural org backslash Lynn. Um, you can also reach out to them, 781-691-0060. They're on Facebook at Facebook slash Lynn Cultural Council. Um, their mailing address is the Lynn Museum. It's 590 Washington Street. Uh, so if you like snail mail, you can send it on down. So Sarah, you're a chair member over there. A uh, big part of your job is reading grants, making sure people are aware about the grants that exist, what you're trying to get out there. Um, I want to just kind of go through a real quick refresher for the people who are just joining us right now. Um, for those at home who don't know, the Lynn Cultural Council, what's your function, your mission? Yes, so our function is, as you say, to give away money, which is wonderful. Uh, we make grants for arts, culture, and interpretive science opportunities that are happening to benefit the people of Lynn. 
Okay. So we attract a wide range of applicants, uh, nonprofit organizations, local schools, individuals who are artists or makers or singers or historians. And so we really uh, look for a wide variety of, of applicants in, and, and again, we define arts and culture uh, very broadly. So we welcome applicants from across Lynn, and even people who live outside of Lynn are welcome to apply as long as the project that they are proposing will benefit Lynn residents. All right, and we were talking before the break about the amount of culture that's available here in the city of Lynn. And not only that, you just have different demographics too. You've got youths, you've got uh, family people, and, you, and then you've got people who are older and they're seniors. So there's a, a huge broad spectrum that you're dealing with. So in order to achieve your goal, one, that must make it somewhat difficult, but at the same time, at least make it interesting. Oh, it, it's so interesting. There is no shortage of amazing creative opportunities happening across Lynn. You know, you kind of walk 10 feet and there's something really interesting happening. The challenge for us as the Lynn Cultural Council is really to make sure that we're making grants that are diverse in type. So again, you know, whether it's visual art, performing arts, uh, cultural tours, uh, historical tours, field trips. So there's that level of variety that we're looking for. And then we're also looking for variety of you know, who are, who are the people benefiting, whether it's um, racial and ethnic diversity or whether it's diversity of age or other type of background. We really want to make sure that the grants that we're giving out every year hopefully will impact all in residents in some way, whatever their interests are. Now the annual deadline is every year October 15th. When it comes to grants, there's a, there's a very strict infrastructure process um, and it's when you're dealing with money like that it, it's important that the people who are giving it out know where it's going so the, mm -hmm. the application process is very thorough mm -hmm. as well as the follow-up sometimes they may ask like hey we want all the detail what did you get what did you buy what came about it send us a, uh, a letter so there are, uh, uh, there's a lot to know about grants and another thing that you guys offer are workshops mm -hmm. um, and if you checked out the latest episode of what's happening um, I think they've got a workshop coming up too uh, this show may air a little bit after that, but um, it's really interesting that you guys are doing all this work. And it's like, a lot of people who don't have a lot are wondering, like, why? W what is the purpose? And it's really mm -hmm. to preserve culture, and mm -hmm. it's really to give people um, a certain level of pride in the city. Mm -hmm. Not that Lynn needs it, because everybody, I mean, it seems like this city breeds pride. Mm -hmm. um, and that's something that you could speak to, too. I mean, they, uh, if you guys aren't aware at home, Sarah's uh, Corey Jackson's wife. Uh, they married, just had a beautiful baby. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Corey Jackson's a um, uh, organizer behind uh, Arts After Hours, which plays down at Lynn Arts, um, and huge advocate in the city of Lynn. Mm -hmm. And it's guys like Corey that just make other people like, hey, maybe I could do something too. Why do you think people are so proud to be here? I think people are so proud to be here because Lynn has a rich history. Lynn is scrappy. Lynn is going through a revitalization. You know, we're, we're ready to rumble here in every good way. Um, you know, I think the whole city of sin, you know, bring it on. Let's let's embrace it. Let's make it fresh. Let's make it new. And there's so much good work happening in Lynn, not just in arts and culture, but in, in every element. The economic development is outstanding. Again, the diversity is outstanding. The restaurants, the businesses that we're attracting here are outstanding. So, you know, I mean, that's Lynn is is just it's kind of the place to be really on the North Shore. Lynn is in. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Lynn <a> is in. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to talk about the types of grants for those at home who are like, all right, I want to apply for mm -hmm. a grant. Um, what do you want to see come across your desk? Yeah, so there are two primary types of grants that we fund. One are programmatic grants <clears throat> and one are field trips. So largely the schools in Lynn obviously apply for field trip money. And then um, probably the viewership of, of this show is everyone else who would be a program grant. So what we look for are really any programs or projects that will take place within the next year that are going to benefit the people of Lynn in some way. Uh, we have everything from individual visual artists who apply to do, let's say, an exhibition in a, in a public place. We have um, the Lynn Folk Festival, which takes place in Heritage State Park. 
we have uh, more established organizations like Raw Artworks and Arts After Hours and the Lynn Museum who apply every year and we're, we're happy to support them as well. Something that we really do look for though every year are new applicants. We want to make sure that we are funding a wide variety of programs and that we're discovering uh, talent and uh, opportunity for our residents that we may not have known exist. And the only way we can know that is if people apply. So we, we do enjoy looking at new applications and we encourage new applications. And we also do encourage people, again, to go on our website and really try to understand what it is that we're looking for in both the application form and the budget. Because the better people pay attention to the details of what's required, the easier it is for us to give them money. So we want to give away money, so we just encourage anyone, any organization, any individual who has an arts or culture project that they'd like to put forth, apply, but just follow all the directions and apply thoroughly. That was one thing I always had a problem with in school, was following the directions. <laughs> Write your first name last, and your last one, like, why would I do that? That's yeah, make sense. and I mean, I would say, too, you know, <clears throat> we've had applications where there's no budget attached, which really makes it hard for us to give them money. It's so a big no-no. It's I mean, a big no-no. How do you know what you're getting into? Exactly, exactly. So this is good. that We're talking about this. There are a lot of people who better be taking notes at home. <laughs> um, so now you guys have been around since the, at least 20 years. Mm -hmm. The Lynn Cultural Council has been functioning, and that's why we have organizations like Raw Arts, you know, Lynn Arts, Arts After Hours, the Lynn Museum. Um, you know, and it, a lot of it has to do with preserving the Lynn culture. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about some of the the successes that the, the, the Cultural Council has had? I mean, out of, out of everybody that you've seen hmm. come across your desk, and I don't mean to put you on the spot, but I mean, do you have a favorite? Do you have more of a preferable one, one that maybe it achieves more than, than anybody else? Uh, you know, I don't have a favorite. I think they're all my favorite because of, again, the fact. So there's no one organization or no one person in Lynn who can be the everything of culture and art in Lynn. So, for example, we have uh, the, con the concert singers of Lynn who are senior citizens who get together and they're a community group and they put on high quality concerts, uh, you know, twice a year to, ben to benefit uh, the public in Lynn. And that is as important to me as a program that is, uh, you know, like at the Lynn Museum that is working on some element of historic preservation. It's as important to the Cultural Council as someone like Julia Green who's doing really interesting historical graveyard tours in Lynn. It's also things like for our students and our young people in Lynn, getting the opportunity to experience things outside of Lynn that they might not otherwise have exposure to, which is why the field trips are so important because we're sending kids to places like Broadway to see a real Broadway show. We're sending kids to Boston to see really interesting uh, exhibits at the Museum of Science, concerts, theatrical productions. Um, so really, there's no one answer. They're all so important and so vital to the puzzle that is culture and Lynn. That's a good way to put it. I mean, I'm sitting here and I'm wondering about, you know, like anytime you get a, a budget like that and mm -hmm. then you've got applications that are just coming through, coming through, coming through, you got to really be it's a delicate process now. It's something that's going to be, you know, really streamlined. You have to pay attention very much so to the details. So, yes. I mean, the application process has probably become a little bit more competitive than it has been in the years, and it's because so many people are working to make their impact here. Mm -hmm. um, why do you think it is in, in, in a city like Lynn, with so many, with so much diversity, um, that I mean? when it comes to the budget, we could benefit from more. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, think about, you, you guys did a lot with $40,000 last year. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, what, what could you do with half a million? What could you do with a million dollars? <laughs> we could do so much. I mean, we could, not only could we, uh, I mean, a million dollars would fund so many <laughs> arts and culture programs in Lynn. We could also even potentially, as a cultural council, do programming of our own, which is something we've never done simply because we're all volunteers and we don't have the money and we don't have the time or resources. So the idea of increased money in general for arts and culture 
uh, in Lynn and across the Commonwealth. That idea is so important and so valuable. And I mentioned earlier, there are groups like the Massachusetts Cultural Council and Mass Creative who are working very hard uh, at the state level to advocate for more dollars for arts and culture. It's just, it's so important to the vitality and the uniqueness of every city and town in the state. So we've got um, some limited minutes left in this program. Um, I want to talk about the application process, the application deadline, October 15th. For those at home who are wondering, where can they find it for more information? Where can they get their packets? How do they do it? Yes, they can find all the information on our website at mass-culture.org backslash Lynn. And application, the form is, is right there online with detailed instructions and extra information from us about what we're looking for. And the deadline every year is October 15th, and that is a postmark deadline if you're using snail mail. And if you are using email, it's 11 p.m. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, we cannot go any further than that. It's very important that people follow the instructions of exactly when things are due. And again, it is all spelled out on the website. Absolutely. Thank you for disclosing it. Uh, Sarah Jackson, chair member over at the Lynn Cultural Council. You can find more information at their website, mass-culture.org backslash Lynn. You can also reach out to them on the phone, 781-691-0060. Find them on Facebook, Facebook slash Lynn Cultural Council. Sarah, I want to thank you for coming on to the program. Uh, you guys do an outstanding job. Stay tuned uh, for more Lynn Cam TV shows just like this from the studio here at Lincoln TV. I'm Sean Donahue wishing you all the best.